he just had an off day. We were we were at Reno and getting ready to run in the slack there, and all of a sudden he just jumped forward and smashed me between him and the trailer and knocked me out. I did have a, a fractured skull and a, a bleed between my skull and my brain. I feel that God gave me a second chance. My mom and dad grew up riding horses and rodeoing, and so they raised me and my sister the same way. We grew up on the back of a horse, it seems like, and horses have always been my passion. I've just, something about them is just pleasing to my soul, and there's just something about the connection I have with a horse that I can't really explain. I think it's a gift from the Lord, and um, I'm really thankful for them, and I just get such satisfaction out of going out and training on one and teaching them something new and watching them excel and it's just really rewarding to me and for me none of it is about getting famous or the money or anything like that I just I love to work with them and watch them succeed so that's what it does for me you know I raised Peter from a baby and he was the one that took me places I never I'm sorry. <laughs> he took me places that I didn't think were possible. And um he just had an off day. We were um we were at Reno and getting ready to run in the slack there and he uh, there was a garbage can with a plastic bag in it and that a gust of wind came up and that bag started flapping and it just for some reason really freaked him out that day he um, started slipping on the pavement and so I ran up and was gonna be the hero and untie him and um, I couldn't get him untied because he had pulled on the lead and all of a sudden he just sat back on the end of that lead and, and jumped forward and smashed me between him and the trailer and knocked me out and um, I, I think I fractured my skull on the pavement. Um, so I was uh, rushed to the emergency room. They, I had split my head open so I was bleeding really bad and they thought I was just had a concussion. And it turned out that I did have a, a fractured skull and a, a bleed between my skull and my brain. So I had to have surgery that day to stop the bleeding. And it's been a long recovery, but I've had a miraculous recovery and I'm very thankful. I wasn't even supposed to know who I was when I came out of surgery. And I have no memory loss, no deficit, and um, it's just, something that I I feel that God gave me a second chance. There's no way I can see how you can make it through something like that without the Lord because He, while my circumstances may change, He never does. And at the time, the only thing in my life that didn't change was Him and He was always there for me and He was my rock and, you know, things happen, life happens and you just have to do whatever it takes to get through it and rely on God to help you do that. I actually got back on a horse um, probably a lot sooner than the doctors wanted me to. Um, I got back on four weeks from the day of my accident. I couldn't get out of a walk. I just walked for three and a half or four months, but I just had to 
do something that was part of my normal life. And that really helps me get better. I, it was really, like that was my physical therapy. You know, I could at least get on my horse and, and still have that part of my life. And it's been four years now. Um, it's taken until this year for me to really feel like I'm riding like I was before my accident. So it's taken a long time, but I just decided when it happened that I was gonna do whatever it took to get back to where I was. And I didn't let myself feel sorry for myself. Things happen and I'm thankful for to still be here and be able to ride my horses and do what I love.